Hello boys and girls and welcome to the episode 68 of the Iron Meditation, the Art of Living and Lifting podcast. I'm your host, Coach Michael. Intentionalism. Um, and there's the saying goes along it is the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So what is intentionalism? The way I see it and how giddy boy sport, kettlebell sport is related and what can it teach you about it when you're lifting the bell. So like in Zen at least in uh, Eastern, uh, it's in Western philosophies, there is something about intention that is said not to intend to help, not to intend to interfere. That's why uh, road to hell is paved with the good intentions, because while we mean good and we interfere is like helping a butterfly to uh, make it out of the cocoon and by it we undeveloping it and butterflies drop dead on the ground with wings not fully developed, not being able to pl- fly. Uh, but we were intentively helpful. We tried to do our best to make its struggle less and we fucked things up. All right, so <laughs> it's by, um, as I said, by Western philosophies and it's a more broader sense of uh, not being intentful in our kids' life and like basically mind your own business. And I like to reframe it as to mine, as to dig your own business and let others mine their own. But I do want to talk on practical intentionalism and how kettlebell snatch is related to it. So. Intentionalism is a vector, in my opinion. Now, vector is something that has magnitude and direction. Like if you remember, you know, high school math. So intentionalism, like when we intend, uh, but we only intend, it stays in our head. So we do nothing, we progress nowhere. We just sitting there with our journal open and you know this thing like, you know, write your thoughts, journal everything, which is true. If you know how to implement it therapeutically, otherwise it becomes a tool for a procrastination. You just sit there, you write, you endlessly prepare, you endlessly, you know, copy stuff, plan stuff, you analyze the market, you learn your competitors, quote unquote, but it stays on paper and you are full with intentions. And this is something that brings us more closely to the Western philosophies. Now, magnitude in my case is action. So the moment your intention cannot sustain, okay, cannot exist without action. Like, it's the same thing. If I am intending, okay, to run or to sign up for whatever, um, I am acting to it. So I am training, I'm making actions. Okay, if I have intention to make my relationships better, if I have intention to find a better job, if I have an intention to, I don't know, write a book, all this, <laughs> like every productivity and self-help book brings out the same examples <laughs> because the examples are, you know, universal for everybody. It's like relationships, is jobs, is children. Um, and it works because eventually this is what life is all about. Is spending it with people who is close to you, who or who you respect, not bored with, and mean, making it meaningful. And even if you have an intention to go on vacation and invest in yourself and rest, 
action all right so the first thing is action now back to the kettlebells in our case in kettlebell snatch magnitude okay of intention it's the kettlebell size itself right obviously and the tempo so you cannot intend to do kettlebell snatch okay if you practice kettlebells you are acting by snatching the bell the second part of the vector equation is direction all right and direction is what many of us okay missing because if you hear the great coaches take massive action take massive action all right like do stuff but if you're doing stuff in the wrong direction or worse you have no direction whatsoever guess where you're going right you'd better stay intentions less intention less <laughs> and because it's it's worse you are wasting your energy absolutely for nothing right so intentionalism is action plus direction okay and direction in our case is but you know what let's talk about kettlebell for a second now if you ever snatch the kettlebell you know that direction is crucial because if you're shooting a kettlebell forward like you're throwing a hammer or a stone the snatch will go wrong because you will need to apply excessive force and you will have to pull it and the exercise becomes ugly and you can snatch basically that efficiently some multiple hand switches and you're done and to snatch the kettlebell properly you need to make the direction vertical close to your body and it makes everything easier with the exercise same is with intentionalism so intentionalism when we have action and we have direction and direction is meaning then we become intentive and you know what back to the butterfly and the cocoon your intentional action can be do not interfere and doing nothing right is an action deliberate doing nothing and observing and my intention, my meaning may be letting the butterfly, le letting the nature take its course and let the butterfly struggle in order to become um, conditioned to fly. Same to our kids, right? We do not need to hover over them and make their life easier. We need to make their life real by sometimes letting them experience pain because when you experience pain in three when you're three years old and when you're 13 trust me it's better off than experience the same pain for the first time when you're 43 right now this is good parent parenting this is intentional parenting when i'm taking action of no action with the meaning of making my kids conditioned ready for the real life because i may be gone in any time right so intentionalism let's sum it up is a vector that is an action and direction aka meaning so when i'm taking a meaningful action towards something all right i'm moving in some direction i'm living an intentional life and i am become i become an intentionalist so everything i do is full with direction and is full with action and it's meaningful to the extent i thought about and take it now to writing a book making your relationship going on vacation finding finding your next career and become the intentionalists and practice kettlebell snatch because it will teach you how to do it better <laughs> otherwise you're just putting the bell after some reps with turn palms and this is not how kettlebell snatch and life is done so now you know take care we'll see you in the episode 69